This week, we travel to secret locations on Boss Battle. Hi everybody, welcome to the Boss Battle number 75, a show in which the writers of Insert Coin to begin and discuss video games together. Um, I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom, and joining us as usual, it's Sorg. Sorg, what did you achieve in gaming this oh, week? Oh, just a little bit of casual encounters on GTA 5. That does not sound like the way it's supposed to. That sounds like something from uh, Craigslist. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> And Grand Theft Auto missed missed encounters would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> missed connections. <laughs> you were the girl I hit with my car during that heist. I have, to, you know, uh, I, I, love I have, you. I have taken to punching women in the back of the head in that game. I don't know where that came from. Oh, I've done that <laughs> I, so many times. It's, it's so satisfying because it's just one punch and people go to the fuck down. And yeah, they, they go down. And they give you money. So, you were the guy that made me wear pink on pink pajamas. <laughs> oh, uh, all right. So, Chachi, what'd you what'd you achieve this week? Hello? Sorry, I was on mute. The dogs oh, okay. were barking. Uh, I broke fifty, and by that I mean I broke fifty percent Lego Marvel. Nice. Um, I've rescued Stan Lee like 38 times. <laughs> <laughs> I've unlocked, and I'm not kidding, I've unlocked 140 characters. Wow. That's there are roster. still at least 30 more characters to unlock. Hmm. Damn. So, we're, we're going to get a little cool. more into that. Yeah, in uh, we'll talk score. about that more later. But uh, I broke 50%, and I'm extremely proud about that. Nice. Riz, what did you achieve this week in gaming? I I bought a Steam game that wasn't on sale. Oh what? man! How dare you! The audacity! It was. It, it's um. You guys have heard Daisy though, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. if you have any, if you have the chance, I haven't. I haven't played it all the way. I haven't played it yet. But if you have the chance, go to the review section of the Steam games. In, in oh man, team. Riz was they, sending me these on <laughs> Gchat yesterday. Where where are you? I'm I'm gonna. It, it's just so diverse. Let's I, see that you can feed somebody a banana and kill them. Hmm. <laughs> uh, where I'm trying to find where you are, but yeah, there are plenty of funny, informative ways to go about. Doing things in that game. Well, just like that video we were watching the hangout last night oh, with yeah. the two yellow jacket you be, guys. You can be the yellow jacket <laughs> guy of of Daisy yeah. if you, you know, beat somebody with an axe. Um, but still, I, I'm going to probably enjoy this game thoroughly. Nice. And it's in so, the alpha stage, and it's, it's not even in beta yet, so it's very early on. So who knows with how where this goes. Maybe that could be high score next week. Maybe. Maybe. So. Maybe. All right. What I achieved in gaming this week, I found a new game on the Android marketplace called Compulsive. One of the most addictive games I have ever played. Did you beat it oh, yet? There, there really isn't. You just, you just try to get the highest score you possibly can. Um, my high score is like three hundred thousand something. Um, it's. It's very easy, but when I say very easy, it's it's very difficult at the same time because you have to like get combos and stuff like that, rack points together. Um, all you do is basically move blocks to match colors. Like it's kind of like a different kind of Tetris, but it, I, I I recommend it for for Android. You will lose tons of time to this game. <laughs> so, all right, and with that, we're gonna move on to our high score. Which is Lego Marvel Super Heroes this week. Um, Chachi, you, you played the game. I've played the game. Uh, Riz, have you played it yet? I have not. Sorg? Uh, no, I, actually a little bit of a demo. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, there is a demo on Xbox or PlayStation if, if, if uh, you want to pick that up. But uh, Chachi, give, your, give me your impressions of this game. It, it, quite frankly, it's too big. Oh. Um. And like I said, uh, in my, uh, I, I've put at least thirty plus hours into this game, mm -hmm. and I'm only at seventy percent done. 
Yeah, well, yeah, uh, that's... I have 190 some gold bricks out of 250. Uh, and quite frankly, when I unlock Deadpool, I might be done with this game. You're not going <laughs> to play as Deadpool? Uh, no, I, I'll play as Deadpool for a little bit, but uh, yeah, as soon as I reach that point, I think I might call it a day on this. Because wow. I, I they're, they're releasing expansion packs for Assassin's Creed 4 that I paid for and haven't touched yet because I want to finish this. Also, Call of Duty maps coming out soon, but we'll get to that later, too. But uh, <laughs> it, it's just, it, it's huge. And I mean incredibly huge. Like, <laughs> at, in Batman, when I unlocked uh, Superman, I would actually fly around the city. Like, I'd have no problem flying around the city. In this one, it takes too much time. It's like I just want to get to where I'm going, so I'll use the quick points. See, I'm but, still, uh, at, the be I'm and, still at the and, beginning of the game, and I am i haven't picked it up this week again and then started playing it yet, but uh, I wasn't too impressed with what I played so far. I mean, it's a fun little game, but it's just not... My, the Lego games kind of aren't my cup of tea, though. So it, it seems to me that you really have to be into the source material... Like, I, we pulled up, like, the, we, for some reason we got an Indiana Jones, and I like them, but I don't love the Indiana Jones, like, like as yeah. much as I think I would Marvel or something like that. Or even playing the Star Wars ones, like, I'm not into every little crevice of Star Wars, uh, like those things kind of present. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just haven't unlocked enough characters yet that I'm interested in playing. Maybe that's yeah, maybe game game And that, that does help. But, mm -hmm. all right, so... One of the most ridiculous things so far is I've unlocked Howard the Duck. Okay. Hey, everybody's favorite character. Um, Wait, the Duck? Howard the Duck is in this never... because he's a Marvel character. You've never heard of and... Howard the Duck? Yes, I have. Okay, and I was say. if you waste the time unlocking Howard the Duck and the uh, the bits, the bitcoins and everything, or the, the bits for everything. Bitcoins. Um, <laughs> different, different. Uh, yeah. Currency. <laughs> but um, you uh, you unlock an achievement that's just called really. <laughs> it's just pretty much trolling you, Chaji. Right, 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 and that's okay, exactly it. They troll you. <laughs> they troll you because you wasted the time of unlocking Howard the Duck. <laughs> but uh, on top of that, they waste space with with characters like Howard the Duck. And you, they don't give you characters like, I don't know, Gambit or Nightcrawler. Gambit not being in that game sucks. Well, he makes an appearance, but I haven't but unlocked him yet. So... character? Hmm. Right. If you're and gonna make I... that time to make that Howard the Duck, <laughs> you better make time to make Gambit. Right, and I may not have unlocked him yet, so. I, I mean, there there could be that, but I highly doubt he's in the game, and I refuse to go online to look at the list of unlockable characters because I've put thirty plus hours into this game. It, 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 the, I don't know. I think there's too many characters. I realize that the Marvel universe is bigger than uh, the DC universe, but maybe pick and choose fan favorites and not concentrate so much on obscurity mm -hmm. um but the the gameplay itself uh lego game i, I mean that's all you basically basically it, can say about it yeah it's yeah game. i mean it, it, that's all you really need to say it's a lego game uh so if you're into lego games it's fun if you're not then you're gonna be bored for 30 hours or not put in that much time <laughs> yeah, yeah um but uh, uh other characters I, I I really dig um, the uh, the main characters of the game, um, so it works out. Most of the time, I, I fly around as Iron Man just to get places quicker. Um, and yeah, I mean overall, I, I think it's worth picking up if you're into Lego games. Um, if you're not. Don't bother, because I don't know why you're playing it anyhow. 
Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad they kind of made uh, Mr. Fantastic one of the main mainstays of the game, uh, turning into a teapot and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and like it has all of the normal jokes that a Lego game has. Mm. Um, Samuel Samuel L. Jackson did the voice for uh, Mr. Fury or Director Fury, mm-hmm. and um, they even call back to some of his movie rules. Um, and one of the uh, bonus levels that you do, Tony Stark is throwing a party at his house. And you have to rebuild the the turntable and the speakers and everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a call back to his uh, God speech in Pulp Fiction, <laughs> where you, you build the, the turntables, and he said, "And you will know I am the DJ when I lay my beats down upon you." <laughs> nice. And then, uh, and Lego games have- do have great humor. They're, yeah, they're for the fans. They really are. Mm-hmm. Right, and then uh, another one of the callbacks is one of the ways you you earn a gold brick is uh, you run into a shield agent, and he says that Director Fury is furious because of the snakes on the helicopter on the heli- <laughs> helicarrier, nice. and he says, and I paraphrase, but he told me he's sick of these gosh darn snakes on this gosh darn helicarrier. <laughs> At least they didn't say monkey fight and flame. Right. <laughs> like, the, yeah. like the edited version. <laughs> the monkey on flipping. Cable. But, yeah. uh, and then, like, it, the Stan Lee cameos are all funny, and Deadpool is in every level. <laughs> as uh, he not, should be. Right. Not as a playable character, but as a just a, a, a figure in the background. Mm. I saw him in the elevator one time. Right. That's the first time I saw like, him. In the first level, he's one of the foremost people in the crowds that is sitting there waving at you. <laughs> I missed him. I have, I'll have to go uh, back like uh, you go to like the Daily Bugle, and he's in uh, J. Jonah's office uh, filing. So <laughs> I mean, it's just random crap like that, and it, it makes it fun, um, and definitely like worth uh, going through all the uh, side stuff to pick up. Uh, Deadpool as a character, because you collect uh, 11 Deadpool bricks, which are normally uh, the red bricks Mm -hmm. uh, that give you unlockable extras like uh, studs times 10 and gold brick detector and stuff like that. Um, The best, the best red brick so far, those disguises, um, it lets you put on, uh, glasses and a mustache on every character in the game <laughs> to make them look like Stan Lee. Nice. Uh, and, so. But before we move on, uh, here's where I stand with the game. Okay. I'm at 72.7%. <laughs> I have 10 out of 11 Deadpool bricks. I've oh. saved Stan Lee 38 out of 50 times. I've collected enough studs on 22 out of 26 levels, and I have 192 out of 250 gold bricks. Nice. At 30 plus hours. Don't ask me how many I have, because yeah, you're, <laughs> you're not All even right. close to me. So would man. you? So would you recommend the game? If you're in a Lego, yeah. Cool. Um, right. it, it may not be. It may not be enough for you if you're in the Marvel. Um, because when it's all when it all comes down to it, it's a Lego game. Yeah, and I have to play more, so I'm I'm not a good judge of character yet. So, <laughs> all right, uh, we're gonna move on to our things you should be made aware of. Um, Riz, I think you played a pretty terrible game <laughs> that you found on our site. <laughs> you want to tell Sword. us about it? Sword. Don't look at me, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sword. Okay, I had this idea because um, th- we have uh, the Google Ads I and hate you, we're Sword. trying to do this. I thought, I thought, I hate you so much. Man, we get such interesting ads. And at this point, it's a very uh, jiggly ad, I guess yeah, you could say. Yeah, the, the, the jiggly would have gotten me before, but it's all your fault. It's all Is it fault. Jigglypuff from Pokemon? No, 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 that's not it. That's not it. Um, so, so it's for, it was for a game called League of Angels, which is one of those in-browser, online, MMOR, RPGs. It was, it was free. It's free. It's free. Uh, all that kind of stuff. And I thought, look, well, I don't think they're going to be any good, but why don't we review them since they're actually there? Yeah. Let's be honest. It's a, it's a network. It's not like anybody's directly paying us for them or anything like that. Uh, it's, it's one of those click things. So 
<laughs> well, let's just but, yeah. have fun with it. It's just something to, to do something different on the site. And Riz they're gonna, took the task. But they're going to pull our sponsorship. Their sponsorship. And, from us. It's not even a game. What do you mean it's you not even a something. game? No, 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 no. You click something, you go to it, and instead of like an RPG where you can pick, hey, you can do, you can fight, you can do this, you can run, you can trade, you can do something. They do things without your knowledge. They go, they, they fight a battle without you picking anything going on. And you, you're just sitting there watching it happen. That doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all, Sorg. Uh, but, it, I mean, the graphics for free uh, MMO, RPG, the graphics are... Uh, they, they live up to the hype of the uh, pictures, by the way. For the jiggly? <laughs> they, oh, they, they, are, jiggly they, graphics. they are pretty jiggly. Is that what's going on? Or... Um, Battle the Forces of Evil. Play now. I actually didn't even Ooh, get Blue it. Blue Witch! Blue Witch. Blue Witch. <laughs> but Blue yeah, Witch um, Saga. All the angels are very... Um, Every game is called endowed. Saga at the end now. <laughs> Select a server. Ooh, what's ha- going on here? Oh, I, are you I playing? Did, are you sure. logging into your account? I, I, I did sign up for this uh, just to oh, see no. hey, what's going on in here. I, I, I spent all of a it's, minute in it's there. It's a horrible, horrible game, and I'm glad we don't have sponsors like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember my password. Oh, uh, do all I have to say about this game, Sorg, <laughs> it's your, you, you're, you are now dead to me. <laughs> it's Sorg's lucky day. He can't remember his password. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to our next story, which uh, I think, Chachi, you found some interesting stuff uh, for us on the internet. I, I've been uh, – I'm not as good as I used to be when it comes to this. Um, <laughs> but what I've been doing is I've been going through my Feedly, my Feedly feed. And Feedly feeds feeds? Yes. And, and when I come to a story that my first response is – what the fuck? I save it for later. Um, because for lack of a better term right now, it's called weird video game things from around the internet with an echo at the end. Um, because I, I can't think of a better title for it, so we're sticking with that because it's extremely long and... Uh, we like long titles or things. Right, right. <laughs> um, so this week I, I uh, found a few things. Um, on YouTube, there's a channel called Cinefix. Okay. And what they do is they take popular movies and they t- and they make them and they turn them into eight bit. And they give you um, what it would look like if it was an eight bit video game. I love this Pulp Fiction video. <laughs> yes, uh, the Pulp Fiction one was this week's, and it is utterly amazing because you go through. And it starts off with uh, kind of um, looks like a Dick Tracy feel. Yeah, the two the two gangsters, uh, Jules and Vern. I think that's their name. I need to watch the movie again. But uh, uh, they're collecting the case, and then they uh, get Marvin into the car, and you lose points because you kill Marvin in the car. There's (laughs) even a dance part. Yeah, and and then uh, you get to uh, Quentin Tarantino's house. And one of the mini games is cleaning all the uh, brains and bits of skull out of the back of the car. <laughs> and it, it, it's, I would have played the crap out of this game, as long as it wasn't uh, horribly hard like most Nintendo games were. Like um, Tracy. But uh, and they do everything. They have tons, and I mean tons of videos like this, where they just turn movies into. 8-bit video games. Sounds like a cool site. What was it? What was their their uh, URL again? It's uh, it's on YouTube. It's Cinefix. Okay. Cool. C i n e f i x. Not to be con- but, uh, confused with Cinefamily. What's that? Not to be con- confused with Cinefamily or Cinedine or. <laughs> right, but I mean, it, it, and just in the uh, the quick load list, there's uh, Godzilla versus monsters, um, Elf. The Hunger Games and Thor. Nice. So, and I mean, they have other stuff on there too, but it, those are the highlights of this page. 
Um, also, this week, it was brought to my attention that Gatorade in last year, um, under the radar, released a game in which uh, you, as Usain Bolt, had to avoid water. <laughs> what? Yeah. Because um, I remember, water what, was the, what was the company that did the, the Kanbe Mutombo one? I have no I idea. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, the whole Geico. point. Geico. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, the whole point was to avoid water and drink Gatorade in the game, <laughs> uh, because they wanted that to push the so fact familiar. that Gatorade Gatorade is better than water because uh, Brondo has electrolytes. It has electrolytes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and that's you know, exactly you know, what it reminded me of. Uh, because uh, it. It is exactly like Idiocracy, the movie, where mm-hmm. everyone's drinking a Gatorade type drink and they're trying to grow plants with it, and the cows drink it because Gatorade has electrolytes. Gatorade's got what plants crave. Electrolytes. Yes. <laughs> it's got what plants crave. Because, because <laughs> and uh, finally, this week, uh, Grand Theft Auto for Kids. Yay! Um, it's a. Uh, a ho- it's a, a wonderfully done animated video that kind of reminded me of like a, a door of the Explorer type thing. Um, because there's parts in there where uh, you, it, it looks like uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 or oh yeah, 3 with uh, 4. 4? Four? It's Nico, right? I, no, it's Michael. Oh, it's oh. Michael? Um, so maybe it's uh, 5. But uh, he wakes up and he's like, "All right, it's time to go do some deals." And he goes over to his wall of weapons. He's like, "I think I'll take the Glock today." Do you see my Glock? <laughs> nice. And then, like, it, it goes through and it has all the killing and everything, but none of the swearing and none of the drugs. Like, instead of dealing drugs, he's dealing pixie sticks. <laughs> Happy crack. Yeah, nice. and it, it's amazing. It, it's, you grew up in the uh, 90s, you know what Cappy Crack is. Uh, so it, it's on. Uh, it's over at insertcointobegin.com. Um, the, the company that cleaned it up was called Nacho Punch on Daily Motion. Um, <laughs> great, name. Awesome name. great name. <laughs> yeah, uh, and so it, it's a minute and 56 seconds long. Definitely worth watching for the laughter alone. Um, well, and this and this post uh, will happen every Monday. Okay. And it's called Weird Video Games from Around the Internet. Cool. Awesome. Looking forward to the next one. All right. Um, our next story is um, the new maps have been announced for uh, Call of Duty. Um, the Onslaught map pack has. Let me see here. Four new maps. Well, three and a half new maps, as I said in my article. Um, there's one called Fog. Uh, there's one called Bayview. Um, well, Fog is a foggy, like, uh, horror-themed map, um, which is, they said is a, in the video, is like a mid-sized to large map. There's two sections to it, or three sections. Uh, there's um, Bayview, which is cities, con- uh, containment, and Ignition, which Ignition is a rehash of another map uh, from... Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I can't Rust. remember what it was. No, what? It's, unfortunately, it's not Rust. Um, it is. Let me see. Should have looked this up before. Anyways, it's a rehash of a map that this nobody cared about. Better not be like a gigantic map like uh, the one in the castle was. No, no. I I think it's like a, a mid-sized map. They said. Um. But the weird, the weird thing is, that you can be Michael Myers in Fog. Yeah, I saw this. Wait, what? You can pick up an axe and don Michael Myers' trademark mask, and you can become Michael Myers in one of the maps. <laughs> that seems kind of left field for even it, Call of Duty. It's very left field. It's like I, I don't understand what they're trying to do, but it just. They're trying. They're, here's what they're trying to do. They're trying not to be Call of Duty. They're trying not to be a Call of Duty that you remember. That was weird. Hi. All right. But yeah, they were. They got away from the zombies. 
Mm-hmm. They're doing. They're doing. I, I saw your article. They're doing a. Uh, yeah, there's another. They're doing their first story thing, you know. mode in uh, Annihilation or not Annihilation, uh, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, the aliens. Yeah, extinction um, mode. I think right. They're getting away they're, from the zombies. They're putting aliens in there. They're giving something else for you know a hidden gem gem to do. It's just them trying to get away from doing Mass Effect things. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, also, the, the map that they're reissuing is Scrapyard from Modern Warfare 2, which everybody loved that map, right? I didn't. I don't remember what it was. I don't. I don't remember either. I, I I want a dome. That's all I want. I want a small map, and they didn't deliver this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve reserve judgment for the next maps, but mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I, I, every, I, I definitely I definitely feel kind of kind of burned. I, I have to see reviews on this before I, I put down for it. Yeah, uh, and if yeah. I'm going to, it's gonna have to be season pass because I'm not, you know, I, I, I go all in or I don't. On these things. Hey, hey uh, when was the last time we played Call of Duty Ghosts? I've been busy. It's been a while. I think Chachi and I played it a month ago, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't even that good. Was that the time we got, Chachi we got, got stuck like, with Chachi doing got super the angry? Yes. <laughs> that that, that verse, this version of the game makes me super angry. I, uh, it irritates the crap out of me because of uh, the camping on, like, domination maps. Mm-hmm. Like, there was three players on there that had 80 kills because all they were doing is camping by one of the points. Mm-hmm. Oh, and and, and to, to just reassure you guys, the guy in the video said, there are plenty of high grass to hide in and snipe from. There are Tons of sniper locations on all these new maps. You're just Which, feeding the trolls. Right? Yeah, they're just. You're just. You just. Uh, here, go ahead. Do something. Yeah. Go shoot so, things. I, I'm waiting to see what Treyarch does in the next one. Yeah. In their next one. And, and, um, and, and, and it's a shame because we used to say, "I'm waiting for Infinity Ward to see what they do." Yeah. And Treyarch just totally took took it over from them. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I mean, they they switched reverse. They reversed. I mean, I, granted, it was probably because the 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 two main guys from Infinity Infinity Ward went to make. They left the company. Were basically forced out, which was a dumb mistake on uh, on Activision's part. But oh well. <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm I'm waiting. I'm hoping that it brings back my my hope for the series. Um, mm-hmm. But ultimately, I, I this game just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even touch single player yet. And single player was great. Mm-hmm. It was my favorite campaign mode by far. No, oh. but I don't buy Call of Duty for campaign. I yeah, buy, it for, buy it for multiplayer. And now, <laughs> when I try to go on to play and relax, I end up getting completely angry and rage quitting because yeah, was was. What's the point? He was yelling at me nonstop because we were in the party and nobody else heard him. Oh. So I, it was like he was yelling directly at me. Yeah, which I'm is sorry. Probably Riz. is true. Why can't you play Rivetta Riz? Why can't you play better? I don't know. All right. No, it's not right. Riz's fault this time. It's not, it's, it's, <laughs> not really, it's not. It's actually the game. It usually is, but it's not. Bad. So, all right, we're going to yeah. move on to our uh, final round. Uh, and this has something to do with maps, but it's um, what are your favorite video game locations in any game? Like what? Oh. Like a, it could be a city, a country, any area in a game, anything like that. Uh, what are some of your guys' favorites? Mm. Like I, I don't have one specific area, mm-hmm. but I have one specific game. Okay. Oh, series. The mass anything in Mass Effect was beautifully done, mm-hmm. um, from the Citadel to uh, what is it? To there are so many other areas that I'm thinking of, and I'm drawing a blank of their names because I haven't played it in a while. That were just so not good looking and so massive. But yeah, the Citadel is one of those ones that I cannot 
I cannot get out of my head because of how nice it looks. I can't think of anything else. Cool. Chachi, can you think of anything? Um, either the, uh, the cities used in Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. Um, which or, are real cities that you can go to. Yeah. What's that? Which are real cities that you can go to. Right. Um, or uh, Hyrule. That's yeah. a good, another good yeah, one. Yeah. Sword, do you have any? You know, um, I, I always like the uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto, like how big the city is and mm-hmm. everything. Uh, just got to the one where you meet up with the FBI agent and it's the overlook on the city. Yeah, beautiful. Um, but I'm going to go for my actual answer to Kingdom Hearts, actually. Oh, uh, I really enjoyed, now granted, like looking, you know, looking back, I know a lot of the levels really seem like they kind of got boxed in and they weren't as big as they tried to perceive to be. Um, and sometimes it was painfully obvious, but that was the first time where you were in a 3D space inside these classic movies, you know, um, and it felt, the, the game as a whole felt pretty massive to me, uh, without being a large sprawling thing, like, like Hyrule is, for instance. Um, yeah, I'd I'd have to go with that. Well, and the thing with uh, Kingdom Hearts, um, to go along with it, is that uh, the concept behind it all was amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, for the first time, it, it, they made it look like a galaxy where you're traveling from planet to planet and in, doing in and visiting these worlds. It was like the, the video game, the Captain N video game land version of the Disney slash Square Universe. Right. And I thought they pulled it off really well for 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 that era of video gaming, at least. So. And I have the re- I have the reissue, which I need to start playing mm-hmm. soon. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I'm pretty sure it's the only reason I kept my PlayStation Two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is so I can play uh, Kingdom Hearts and uh, Shadows of Colossus. That's a great game too. That that actually is going to be one of my answers. The land from Shadow Shadow of the Colossus. Um, just beautiful i mean there's nothing hardly in it but it's just the scenery and everything and just fighting these giant monsters that you know you just you end their lives but it's so beautiful how it happens and everything wow bobby <laughs> i'm gonna wow. cry no. wow wow but, and the other one the other one that you guys will hate me for is xanarkin from uh final fantasy 10 god i hate you <laughs> i hate you bobby but the, I hate it's, sword it's more, awesome. but no, it's, no, it's, no. You guys leave Bobby alone. He's yeah. allowed to like his Final Fantasy X. You it was a League of pretty, it was. pretty game with lots of water it was. It was and awesome. colors, and that's fine. Bobby, yeah. it's okay. Like the characters, the, the whole thing, the story. Go play League of so, Angels. Mm. <laughs> so, all right, that's going to end it for us this week here. Um, you can go to our website, insertcointobegin.com. New articles going up daily. Um, you can... Uh, tweet at us at insert coin TV. Um, at, you can join us live every Tuesday night at eight o'clock on uh, live.sorgatronmedia.com. And that'll do it for us this week. Game over, everybody.